Today we are going to see our interactive whiteboard demo, which comprises of our latest learning software, which helps teachers across the globe to create their own lessons and impart teaching learning to their learners. Like any other whiteboard, it would come on the board and with no special tools required, it would work on the board. For example, I can use the pen tool and uh, select my ink and start working on the board using my finger. I could change the pen type. So we have a lot of pen type. So we could have any pen type and start working on the board. So I could work on the board and start working. It also gives me the flexibility to add pages so I can keep adding pages and uh, let's me to use. For example, I'm going to use my crayon tool and see how I can uh, teach to my younger students. So I'm going to teach them how to write alphabets. I'm going to change my color and show how this works. So right now I've written the alphabets A and B. I'm going to show you how this will perform uh, automatically replay multiple times so that the students can you know, see this over again and again and practice it in their workbooks or on their PCs. So it automatically records whatever is done on the board and helps the teachers to review it or pass it on to the students. So we're going to talk about the text recognition pen which comes along with our software. It helps you to you know, convert all your handwritten text to this is demo, so I'm going to show you how it works. So once I write it becomes uh, I'm going to write another one. So let's look at it. it sounds scribbling, but the software is so intuitive to understand my scribble and put it as uh, Text. We have seen how our uh, smart board is very, very intuitive. So you can come with your uh, regular notes and start writing using your fingers. You can write and then it converts into text. But we also, you know, give you geometry shape, which comes in the. So for example, if I have to create a 3D shape, right? I would just like the shape and put the shape on my board. So it's as easy so you focus on what you want to get on the board. And now I want to fill some colors to it. So for example, I want one side to be blue, another side, other side to be yellow, and the front side to be uh, a green. So I'm going to put this. So you see this 3D shapes coming live on your board with less trouble of using those wooden uh, uh, boxes to construct and all of that. I can also put If I want a 2D shape, I can draw a circle as simple as that. Now I can fill the color of my choice. I'm going to put a gradient color so you have the choice coming up. Okay, we saw you know that our board can help you to you know draw shapes and you know convert it to you know geometry shapes. We also have something called measurement tools, which allows the teachers to break those measurement tools at ease on the board. For example, I select the ruler and I want to have a ruler where I can move right and draw lines for example. I'm going to choose a pen and draw a straight line. It also tells me the, uh, the, the measurement of the line segment so I'm going to show you exactly what it is. Right Now I can also you know, rotate the uh, scale so I can draw a, a, a slanted line that's one of the tools that we have. And as I told you at the beginning, you can add a lot of pages. So I'm going to add a page and show you uh, how we can uh, use the compass. So it comes with a compass, so I could use the compass and uh, start running. So it's as easy as creating a circle. So I'm going to you know, use, so I can increase the radius of the circle or decrease the radius of the circle. I can also show them the uh, angle of the uh, circle that I have. So the measurement tools has got multiple, for example, if I want to construct angles, right? 
Now I have got a constructor handle. Now I can keep changing the handles. For example, you will notice that I can you know change the angle instantly. So we have seen that our software is highly intuitive, which allows the teachers to create lessons using various tools. One of the most highlighted tools in our classrooms is the recording feature. It allows the teacher to record whatever is done on the classroom and replay it multiple times or pass it on to students. So when I press my uh, record option, it allows me to save as ABI files and it starts recording automatically. Not only you can save your screen, but also you know record your voice, for example. Here I am recording my screen. So I could record my entire class lectures and pass it around to my students as a video file. For example, I'm going to put some shapes to uh, this picture. Now I'm going to end this uh, video. So it is playing my recorded voice, it plays my So you will see it has recorded my screen and also uh, recorded my voice. Now this file can be you know replayed multiple times in the classroom or you could you know put it on your website, pass it around to your students so they can see your class lectures multiple times and understand the concept before they come to the next class. Another interesting feature that we have in our uh, uh, interactive whiteboard is the document camera which allows the teacher to uh, bring objects to classroom and make it part of the uh, classroom notes. For example, our all-in-one computer comes with an inbuilt document camera. So I will be able to show anything that I want to bring to my classroom. Now I will switch on my document camera which is part of my software. So it, it takes automatically the document camera. Now you will see what's available over here. So this is what I'm trying to do. I consider this your textbook. I'm placing under the textbook. Now I'm able to capture anything. For example, I want to capture a particular area. I just captured that and now it automatically takes it to my uh, lesson notes. So what was the textbook material? Now it's part of my classroom notes. Now I could annotate on top of this. Right? Or it also gives you the advantage of bringing anything. For example, I'm going to leave uh, this remote under it. So the document camera is a very, very widely used tool to show live objects. For example, here I'm showing you the live object. Now I want to capture a particular area. So I'm going to capture only the... So what was as camera as now, I mean, a remote, under the camera it takes the picture. Now it's part of my... Um, a classroom. So I could, you know, make this part of my classroom. So what is as a live object is now part of my classroom. Now I could annotate on top of it. If you see. All the pages that I've created are still there with me. For example, if I have to bring this down, right? So you still have pages created. So whatever is all the objects, be it a textbook, be it any object, you can make it as part of your classroom. 
So the software allows you to go on the desktop mode and add it on all the applications. For example, I can go here, I'm going on my desktop, now I can choose my pen and start writing on my desktop. So I'm going to select the mouse. You will see that uh, this is my desktop, so which means I could work on my desktop and show what it is. Now I want to launch an application and see if I can. Now I have the PowerPoint. Now the beauty of the software is the PowerPoint with our software it allows you to write on the PowerPoint. For example, I'm going to choose my pen and start writing my slides. Now you will notice I'm able to not only go to my different Now whatever I'm doing, it's actually going into the PowerPoint file. For example, when I exit this PowerPoint, it's going to ask me if I say key, you will see all the annotations that I've done, it's there part of the uh, classroom. So it's there with me. So in this software, we have inbuilt you know, tools where you can you know, teach mathematics much better, for example. I'm going to go and show you certain functions. For example, I want to do a quadratic function. Now, I have the quadratic function graph created, which means I could increase my hyperbola and see how that. So, if I can move, you would see automatically the graph increases, showing me the value. Not only that, I could. I want to have a hyperbola sign, so I could show the sign. So it's very easy to demonstrate the actions and show various graphs inside the classroom. So I can go. The whole stuff is there. So I can see. So our software allows you to juggle between applications without you know moving or uh, crossing the application. So I come to my uh, learning software address. If I want to open a PowerPoint, I don't have to do anything. It comes straight onto my uh, learning software itself. It's opening a PowerPoint slide into my learning software itself. So I have the PowerPoint. Now I could annotate on top of this. Now I can move my slides Very important question, are we connected in our classroom? So I'm going to bring my classroom. So you don't have to worry if we are a teacher who have created a lot of PowerPoint presentations and moving to our learning software. You can you know, import it straight away without any special tool and become part of the uh, learning software that we've been widely used. In the demo of the software, how intuitive and powerful it is uh, people across the globe use this. I mean, our software has been widely used ever since 2007. Right? We, we've got more than you know 30,000 classrooms installed. Right? I mean, the most important factor is not just the software or the hardware. It's the training which comes along with it, and we have our training plans. Right, so you could you could you could train your teacher on how to use software. How so there are there are multiple level training plans you have. Uh, the software is highly you know that sensitive. So you have all the necessary materials. You, if you want to you know uh, send an email to your uh, learners, you could send an email, or you want to fire a printout, you could fire a printout. Or do, do all the stuff which is available on the cloud devices. So you could export all the materials that you teach in the classroom to your cloud devices so that you know people or learners, you know, when they leave your classroom, they're able to go back to their dormitory or the home and see what was done. So with the recording feature, screen recorder, the amount of learning that can happen inside and outside classroom is humongous. And welcome to the world of interactive whiteboard and digital learning.